So I can do it here, huh? Yeah, man. We're gonna. We're back. It's the captain's log. Steve Travino. No, I can't do it. Travino. Travino. I'm just gonna say Travino, like a Trevino. white guy. Travino. I'm yeah, so white, white anyway. Like I don't have any tongue roll. So how do I do it on mine? So you're um you're gonna go like this. And, Refresh. And yeah, when you scroll down and then scroll back up and see us. But uh, but thanks for joining me, man. The captain's log. Now, have you been on the show? Have we done this? Well, no, yet? I've been a little jealous, to be honest with oh you. Oh, my God. Every time I come into town, you're like, Steve, I can't make it. I got this going on. And then, like, literally the next week, you'll have, like, Eric Griffin. And I'm like, oh, because I'm not on Workaholics. No, no, stop. Yeah. That's not what it, You know what it is? But no, okay. we've been friends a long time. You, we have been friends you know. a long time. But I'll tell you why. Because you're so professional. The truth is I don't have to babysit you. So it's like Whoa. a great weekend for me to understand, like, Steve's got it all under control. He's like a pro. He's going to knock it out of the park. Well, and, and so we are in, I got I to gotta put mine up now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go for it. Yeah, tell them. Tell your peeps. So there, I, I think we did it. Good. Awesome. Yeah, you're live. Um, you can put it away. Tell well, them. no, I, look, I like, I, you know, I'm one of those guys that, that I know that, Number one, this is I, I take it like a job. Right. It's my job. Yeah. Is it is it what I love to do? I love to do it. I love to be on stage. But at the end of the day, this is my job. Correct. And I have to you know, some guys I mean I because I did it too, right? When I worked at the comedy club, yeah. I would have to pick up the comics. Sure. It's a nightmare. <laughs> Why? I mean, because you like thirty percent of the time they're on time? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Right. And you're knocking I mean sometimes you're knocking on the the, the door. And then, and then they give you the, oh, yeah, man. I'm I, on my way. Yeah. I'll be right down. I'll be, I'll be down in a minute. Yeah. And I would just sit in the lobby, and then I would get yelled at by the radio stations, because, you know what I mean? And There's I was like. story of my life every day. I'm like, no, it's not me. Every day. I was bro. there. I was trying to wake him up. I can't tell you. You know the, the message I sent you? Hey, you want me to get you a coffee? By the way, where's your coffee? Uh, oh, uh, oh, it's in the uh, back. It's in the back. Uh, I, hey, you want me to get you a coffee? I'm going to get. That message literally is like my cue to figure out if they're, if they're, really, up or if not, they're gonna right. make it. I'm like, it's worth it for me to get a coffee, breakfast, freaking whatever they want, whatever. They but need. let me know you're up. Let, let me, me know, know that you're gonna make it today. Well, and, and you know, a lot of comics too. They they oh, I don't want to do radio, and I don't. And I'm like, look, man, it's part of our job. Yeah. You know, I, I remember um, uh, listening to an interview with with Chris Rock, where Chris Rock goes. Uh, he was talking to a comedian. The comedian goes, "Man, I just I want to get to the point where I don't have to tour." And Chris Rock's like, "Well, then don't be a comedian, right? Because it's what we do." Yeah, who it's, wants to be like a rock star and not play? It's part of our life. I mean, <laughs> right? You know, it's like that's yeah. how I make my money. Yeah. You know, even Chris Rock still tours. So I I agree with that a hundred percent. But I also feel like there's like this new movement thing where everyone's like, "Oh, I just want to work on Friday and Saturday." <laughs> oh, so right. you just want the club to go out of business? Like right, right. two days a week, the club is going to be busy. Well, and I always laugh when I hear these. You know, like a new club will pop up, and these these young comics will be like, "They are paying right so much money." Oh, I'm yeah. like, "Why don't you tell them that they're going to be gone in, in six months?" Right? Do you want them here forever? Right. Or do you want to get money right now? Correct. You know, right. so they have this attitude of like, oh, just go in there and, and get yeah. the money. It's like, well, they're going to go out of business. So yeah, that's not how it works. Exactly. I, I'd rather have constant work forever. Well, again, that yeah. goes back to the reason why when you're like, hey, you say if I'm going out of town, or if I'm not available that week, like I know certain weeks that I have to freaking be there. Right. And like babysit. Babysit. Yeah. I have to do a hundred more things than I would do. And then I have friends that tell me, I love comedy. I should be a comedy club manager. And I'm like, you don't even know what you're getting into. Oh, it's like being a fishing guide. Every oh, you like to fish? Yeah. Oh, yeah. How about taking a moron fishing every single day of your life? Right. You'll hate it. You're going to hate it. And not only that, every week is completely different. Every week. You're managing a different comedian yeah. every single week. And you know, the audience. I, you know, I got to, uh, I got to the hotel at the Punchline in San Francisco and uh, the guy at the hotel was like, hey, here's a bottle of 1941 uh, nice. that somebody left for you. And I was like, really? He's like, yeah, it's Marlon Wayans left you a bottle of 1941, right? Yeah. It's called. And I, I show up at the club and I'm like, man, Marlon Wayans left me a bottle of 1941. They're like, really? Because we paid for it. because yeah, we had to buy. <laughs> we, we had, had to, to buy, buy one every night. Every night. Oh, just so you know how nice, that, how nice of him that was, <laughs> is that 
after every show, the, every night they bought one of those. Yep. Yeah. That's what they told us. They yeah. go, every night we had to buy him a bottle of this. Yeah. And he just left it at the hotel yeah. for you. And I'm like, hey, <laughs> uh, you you drank the whole bottle? Because Tonight. if not, I'll just go to the hotel, pick it up, <laughs> and, and I'll bring it room. back to your green room, <laughs> and you can drink the other quarter of it that you drank. Well, and, you know, no, and, it doesn't work like that. And, you know, look, man, I, you know, we've been blessed and things are, are moving forward in my career. And my agents and managers, they're like, what do you want in your green room? Right. What's your writer? And I'm like, I don't need anything. Yeah. Well, you're a man. You, you know, and, and if I want something, there's yeah. a full bar at every comedy club I work at. Right. I'll just get it. Yeah. I you think know? I think a lot of the writers really, they're just, aren't they just cookie cutters? Like, they just say, oh, we have one from, they're not going to rewrite someone's whole new. Somebody told me that somebody asked for a German Shepherd puppy. Really? And they were like, well, we just... At every show yeah. or just one? <laughs> no, every show. They a wanna, new puppy. Yeah, a new puppy, right? <laughs> well, no, I remember, dude, you know, you used to have the condo. Not even... Yeah. Okay, first of all, it wasn't even a condo. Right. right? It was somebody's house. Yeah, it like was Brian's big. house. It was huge. It was. Right? It was a full-on house. <laughs> like, and Brian would be like, hey, stay at the house. Yeah. And you're like, what? Back of the house was the... the and I love to fish, right? Yeah. So that the dock was back there. That's right. Fish all night and... and so anyway, I get there, and there's like three pairs of Air Force Ones. Yeah. And you know who wanted those. Yeah, well, I told that story before. The thing about it is, is it's not like a one pair for the four shows, or five shows, or six shows. Every show. It's a different pair every show. So Eddie, like, Eddie what Griffin, are you doing with those? Eddie Griffin wanted, or wants, a different pair of white-on-white -white Air Force Ones yeah. for every yep. single show. Yeah, every show. One time, funniest thing. Uh, and he just so, left them behind. I, I had them in September, and it was back to school. And they only make so many. I didn't know this because it's not like the hottest new shoe. They only make so many Air Force <laughs> One. Nobody wants these shoes. Anymore. Yeah, and so they get like X amount, and then they're like, "Oh, they don't. They're not making Air Force Ones again till for like nine months. Right. This is back to school." Yeah, the so Chinese I, people are tired. So the, I didn't the, the, know this, right? So what they do is. They ship them all out. When they're gone, they're gone. So you have to wait till the right. next next year. Shipment or whatever, right? So I said, Eddie, and he goes, Oh yeah, they, that happens all the time. I know. I'm like, oh, All right. So what should, he goes, well, Let's go to the store and we'll pick out something together, right? Like a date. <laughs> yeah. No. Well, so we go, go in the mall. <laughs> we go in Foot Locker, and he picks out a pair of shoes that are fifteen dollars cheaper. Than the Air Force One. He wants the 15 bucks. Dude, he took the 15. No. Yeah, he got the. He not only. <laughs> he didn't take the 15. He goes, damn, you thought you were getting away $15 cheaper. Yo, throw some socks in. Throw some socks in. No. He got the socks. Yeah. No. He added the socks in until it got to the same price, bro. Oh my God. And I just died. I was like, I should totally record this, but it was like. That's unbelievable. I know. I it's know. It's unreal to me. But it happens. Because, I look, I mean, I'm very blue collar. Yeah. You know, I, I totally. Grew up, right. You know, my dad is a, a welder pipe fitter. Yeah. You know, my dad was always like, hey, man, work hard. You know, and so to me, that's just unheard of. But just, he knew you know, already how much they were <laughs> and how much he was going to spend. You owe me $15. Yeah, he's like, yo, 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 you thought you were getting away. He said those words. You thought you were getting away $15 cheaper. Unbelievable. <laughs> Throw in some socks. Throw in some socks. I that, died, man. dude. I just love the fact that he did that so I could... <laughs> I, I couldn't do I've it. I've told the story a few times. It's it's a legit 100% true. I'm the kind of guy that like, you know, because, you know, sometimes I do the theater shows. Yeah. And if I know that I have friends and family coming, yeah. I'll ask for a bottle of Crown. Yeah. Right. I have, I have friends and family coming. Now you ask for a bottle of Captain Brian's vodka or rum or right, gin. Right. Well, my right. wife would probably love yes. the, 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 your, your, your vodka. I'm not a vodka guy myself. Okay. Uh, but so, you know, I asked for a bottle of Crown, right? Yeah. But I'm the kind of guy that I've been to, gone back there and it's not there. And I'm just like, oh, okay. Yeah. I'm, like, like, I'm not going to be like, wait a minute. Right, right. No, oh, no. Where, where the hell's my bottle of Crown? The whole <laughs> show's got to stop. <laughs> right, right. So it's, I'm not going on Eddie stage. Griffin, Eddie Griffin goes, uh, I said to Eddie, I go, Eddie. Uh, you can't smoke on stage anymore. It's, uh, they just changed the rules. He goes, oh, okay, okay, Captain. Eddie Griffin, no smoky. Eddie Griffin, no showy. Right. And so, no. <laughs> and so he was dead serious. Dude, dead serious. So I literally had to have the fire marshal at the show stand outside while he smoked. He said it was a prop on stage. 
the new contract that I just did, he, I'm trying to bring him back in April right now. I haven't right. had him in a few years. I haven't had him in like three years. I'm trying to bring him back in April. It says, uh, it says Eddie Griffin must smoke on stage or else there's no show. Unbelievable. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, Chappelle does that. Well, and I, I, isn't there, there's a, a... He must be able to smoke on stage or there's no show. But there's a law, right, where it's it's like a prop, right? And well, that's what he on, says. On stage. So I'm going with the prop. Yeah, on stage you're allowed to yeah. almost do anything yeah. as art, yeah. right? And the cigarette is part of that. Right. right. It's, yeah, it's not like the whole audience is token up. It's just the guy on the show. Right. It's doing it. I want to see if I, oh, I'm looking at my phone. I want to see if I, if it's coming out on my deal. Yeah, it's got it. It must be no. I, I don't know. Hey guys, if you're uh, watching on Steve's channel right now on his Facebook because we're live, Steve Trevino, my guest on the Captain's Log, say hi, leave a message uh, below, and uh, oh, let yeah, us know. It's, it's working. It's yeah. working. It's yeah. working. We're good. Yeah. Yes. It's also seven forty-seven. A hundred percent. Yeah, right? of course. And, yeah. But but I bet. By the time this, okay, so I'm gonna send out an email for people to watch it. By the time the weekend ends, I bet we hit thirty-five thousand, maybe really? fifty. Wow, what do you think? That's awesome. I, I think that's great. Maybe that's fifty. Awesome. I'll go I mean, for fifty. You know, because I follow you on Facebook, so I'll, I'll be like, I mean, last week you had my friend Vicky Barbalak. Who yeah, I, I she's a doll. Love, but you know, I'll see like all your little episodes. That, Thanks, well, buddy. I hate when I say your little episode. <laughs> like, it's like when <laughs> people come up to me and go, "Oh, your little show." <laughs> I like yeah. Tell me a joke, funny yeah, man. You do, do your a little dance. show. Do like, a my little show. It's my life. <laughs> That's what I do for a living. Like, oh, I get it all day. I get it all day. But I actually, because I've been doing it now steady for like almost a year, I like when people say that they see the show, no matter right. what, even if they hate it. I don't care. They see well, you it. Check it out, right? Yeah, you watch it. Well, look, I, the idea of a captain's log is awesome. Right? <laughs> it's funny. That's, well, no, I, I, it's not cheesy. No, well, I remember when you first booked me years ago. Yeah, and it was like, oh, you know, Captain Brian's restaurant. I'm like, oh, that's a cool name for a restaurant. And you get there and you're like, oh, this is an awesome restaurant. And then I'm like, uh, hey, Brian. And you're like, no, it's actually Captain Brian. I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> like, what do you mean you're you're like a real captain? That helped me in the industry, I think. Because <laughs> calling LA and being like, hey, it's Captain Brian. They're like, what Captain is Brian's calling. What is right? this dude doing, right? Oh, the <laughs> captain is calling. Like, Hold on. Yeah. But I remember thinking to myself, like, there's no way you're a real captain. Then you started to explain to me. You're like, no, no, no. I'm a boat I'm a, captain. Yeah. I, I'm a, you know, I'm like, oh, it's like you're for real. Right. <laughs> Captain Brian. But we haven't fished in, I mean, we fished uh, twice, right? I fished with you one time. One time. And then you set me up with Captain Buddy. Okay, okay. And Captain Buddy took me out fishing, and yeah. I caught a uh, the biggest Jewfish I've ever caught. Oh, in my life. yeah, he's a king of one of those. It's unbelievable. Those. That is awesome. 500 pounds or whatever. You, it was. Do you it's a, huge. You see those videos on Instagram of them hooking them on the it's docks unbelievable. now? unbelievable. Yeah, that was you. So, we should have videoed that. Yeah, he took like a hard head, cut, this, cut the uh, barbs off. Yeah. And then sent it down, and he was like, "Just hang on." And then, sure enough, <laughs> hoo, hoo, it was and unreal. then it just takes you. It was bro. awesome. Yeah, it takes you. Which, so, by the way, anybody watching, I love to fish. Let's go Saturday yeah, morning. Take yeah. Me out. Hey guys, you watch the captain's log. Uh, I'm heading out of town tomorrow because I have to be at some uh, birthday party or something in Las Vegas. Uh, oh, sorry, but about I need, sorry about your life, I, I know. Brian. I need somebody to DM me um, because Steve wants to go fishing. He's a, go. he's a pretty good fisherman, so you better bring your A game because he wants to put it on him. You want to bring fish home to eat, though, yeah? Or do well, you just want to catch and release? I, I catch and release, but we always keep one or two because your restaurant always yeah, will. Yeah, we'll cook it. We'll cook it up for yeah, you, we'll which cook is it for you. freaking awesome. So, right? I, I think uh, I caught my a snook here for the first time. Yeah. I mean, Red you know, fish, Well, I, growing up, you know, we right. were catching redfish. We catch redfish, speckled trout, you know, yeah. the, uh, those are the fish that we, in black drum, you know, but out here you get the snapper, you get, right. you get the snooks, which are like, you get snook, tarpon, redfish, redfish on steroids, yeah. right? I mean, yeah. the tarpon are unbelievable yep. to catch, yep. you know, so, uh, you know, it's nice to come out and catch different things than what I'm used to, you which know? is always fun. Yeah. Did you bring any gear or no? No gear. You don't need it. Well, make sure you guys have enough gear for Steve. He's coming. And anyway, I have ton I have plenty of rods. So I'll hook you up if they... Uh, in Colorado in April. Well, thank you so much, yes. uh, John, man. I appreciate you. Thank you. Come do it. Come do it. You can't miss the hysterical show. How long have we been working together now? 
Well, it, what's funny is remember Gary Mankey? I do. Gary was the one that was booking me yeah. back in the day when, and again. Have you seen it, him lately? I haven't seen him in forever. I haven't either. I just remember one night, because, you know, obviously, you know, so Brian would put us up in a house, and next door was his parents' house, and his parents had a pool. So he, your parents were out of town, yeah. and we thought Gary had died. <laughs> right? Every day, I think Gary like, might die. It was it's not a it's not a doubt. Dude, it was one of those <laughs> that nights could happen. where everybody was like, "Where's Gary?" Yeah, we had been drinking, partying, right? Like, and it was like, I don't know, man. And then somebody goes, "He's in the pool next door." Oh, my God. so when we got there, he was passed out in a, in oh a tube, my God. just floating in the middle of the pool. <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh my God, he's dead." <laughs> We're like <laughs> that had to be a sight for sore eyes too. Oh yeah. my god! It's like five in the morning, right? You're like, That's he's so dead. funny. So then, of course, the next morning he's up at like nine a.m. Yeah. Oh no, he doesn't quit. Making coffee. No way. Does not quit. It's like. like it's like he bounces back, dude. I don't get it. So that's how long I've known yeah. you. And then... If we called Minky... Well, oh, it's 9 o'clock. If I call him oh, at 6 o'clock in the morning... He's, he's like, hey, Cat, what's up? Doing radio. I'm like... He's, yeah. He's been, he's been 60 since <laughs> I met him. <laughs> like he's one of those he dudes. He is. I met him 20 years ago. Yeah. He was 60. That is If I so saw him funny. today, he's 60. That is hysterical. Like it's unbelievable. Yeah. But that's how long I've known you. And then one year... Um, well, it's the first time I ever brought my wife because you had me here for Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. Oh, and yeah. then you had me over at your home. Yeah, which, we had which, Thanksgiving at the house. Dude, I will never forget. That was great. That was so nice of your family to be like, come on. Which, by the way, your parents are like, they're like a cartoon version of like a 50-year married couple. Yeah, yeah. Right? Like, that's yeah. exactly what they are. Right. But, you, you, you know, I've got to know your family, you know, you over the years. It's just been... It's been great coming down to Southwest Florida and, and having the opportunity to, to fish, to hang out, yeah. to do the show in, in a club that's not your typical comedy club. Right. right? And I think now we've kind of expanded now to, we used to be like 50% comedy, 50% restaurant. Now it's more like 90% comedy and 10% restaurant. I mean, on the off times. Right. Everybody eats, which is always so great that people come and they eat Have a at nice the dinner, show. Right. Because then it's like a whole night out. It's not just right. like, ha let's go get some laughs. Right, let's drink. drink a beer and have a Yeah, have a laugh, so they right. stay. So then they keep coming back. That's, I think, what has helped us so much is that they can just do it whenever. Even if they're hungry and they want to laugh, they can do well, it. Well, you know, you know my they... friends, Rich and Kathy, who yeah. come down here all the time, yeah. they're like, Steve, we love the food there. Yeah. You know, not only do we like to go to the comedy club, the yeah. food's good. They need to yeah. call me. More. They never text me or anything when they want to come to a show, and I know that I, they come. They just pay, right? Yeah. <laughs> they they probably, pay. yeah, they have enough money, yeah. so that's okay. Yeah, they're fine. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need them. Let them t but, tell them not to call me. Everyone else does that. But Rich and Kathy, they're class acts like that, yeah. right? Like, they're the, you know, and that's why we get along with them. They're they're working class Pittsburgh. Right. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. And, which, by the way, dude, if there's more, what do you think there's more in Florida? Steelers fans or, or, or Patriots fans? Dude, I it's don't both. know. It's I think definitely because both. I'm from New England, probably my side, I'd say Patriots because a lot of people around me are New England fans. But, like, imagine being in Pittsburgh right now or freaking somewhere where it's, like, three degrees. Oh, like no, I'm, uh, Boston right now. No, Boston, I'm, I'm, three degrees when, yeah, I, no. when I told you this morning. Yeah, but Boston people don't care. Yeah. They're out there. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've been there when it, I was in Chicago. I've been in Boston. You know, being a Texas guy, I'm like, there's no way these people are going out. Right. Yeah, I know. Like, it's over. Yeah, yeah it's done. But they don't care. They're nope. out there with their shovels, like, nope. getting the day going. Yeah, when it's like, 40 out, they literally, when I was in Boston, back in college, when it was, like, 45 or 50, and if it was sunny, you crank down the windows and act like you're freaking, oh, yeah, like awesome. it's a beach day. Yeah, yeah. You go, <laughs> you go oh, my nuts. flip flops on. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And you act like <coughs> it's something special. Right. And now I'm like, it's 40 degrees out. It's freezing. This is I'm, miserable. Yeah, this yeah. is ridiculous. Yeah. What's wrong with this place? So I guess it just depends, like, what you're used to because who would do that today? God yeah, no. damn. Well, and Florida's one of those places, too, where it's literally thunderstorming. And, and people that don't know are like, well, the day's done. I'm like, no, give it 10. Yeah, no, it's coming back yeah. in five. Give it 10 minutes. Exactly. <laughs> Sun will be out. Everything will be dry again. Right. What like, time is it? Oh, it's yeah. 3 o'clock. Yeah. yeah. By 4.15, everything's gonna gone. Dry you won't even know. You won't even know. It's freaking yeah. rain. And the storm pushes through, right? I know. 
but man. no, it's it's so nice to be here, man. I love I love coming to your club and I appreciate that hanging man. out. We love having you because again, like first of all, everybody that comes gets one hell of a show. That's the other thing. Like you have some people that can't sell a ticket. And that's great. You have some people that can sell it, sell out every show. Right. But at the end of the day, the clubs want a show that's funny. Right. People enjoy. They yeah. want the show that people are gonna love. Whether well, you know, I remember I had just put now, I just put out Relatable. Yeah. On, on Netflix, and I performed at your club, and you were like, Steve, you're gonna blow up. Yeah. You were like, Steve, this is, and I was like, you know, in my head, I was like, well, thanks, but I haven't. Right. And I can't wait for it to happen. Yeah. But you were like, no, no, no. It's gonna trust happen. me. I'm telling you, it's Absolutely. gonna happen. And then. Sure enough, man. Yep. You know, people caught on to the the, the video memes and the clips, right. and and you know now we're on the next special after that called Till Death, which my wife and I produced ourselves. But it's just been cool to see like the the growth, you know, in markets and, and people, fans, right? It's all you know, and you were booking me before I had fans. You know, you were just like Steve's funny. I'll bring him well, in. Well, yeah. Right? I mean, you can't yeah. deny funny. It doesn't matter if people know you or not. If that is funny, when, especially with the internet now, that's how you become so successful. I think, like, the when internet. you put something out that's funny, that's undeniable. It doesn't matter if I tell the joke or you tell the joke. If it's a funny damn joke that whoever told wrote it, that's what people are gonna laugh at. My favorite. They don't laugh harder right. because. You know, some famous dude joke, told right? it. No, well, what's great to me is is comics will call me and they're like, Steve, how do you do it? What's the deal, man? What's with the video? How do you do it? I, I put out a video meme. I'm like, well, maybe I'm funny. <laughs> like, maybe I'm good. Maybe, like, maybe somebody <laughs> laughed. Yeah. yeah. Maybe my stuff's good enough to share. Right. And then now you're mad at me because nobody's sharing your stuff. Absolutely. You know? Yeah. Kyle White, what's up, my man? Hey, Kyle. What's going you. on? Uh, but you know, it's it, like I, I can't tell you how many comics call me and go, "What's the secret?" I'm like, "I yeah. don't know. I'm funny." Right. Exactly. Uh, yeah. The funny is the the secret is I told a joke that actually people laughed at. That people like. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can put the meme all you want, yeah, but right. if they don't like it, exactly. You know, it's not gonna... And people don't share everything. Like, right. how, it, I mean, to get people to share stuff is like, it's a work of art right now. Yeah. Well, really. You know, I was just seeing this thing about you know. Uh, uh, you know, on the news about you know the secret. Hey, Biggs, oh, what's up, buddy? We're going, we're pulling in right now. We're all these advertisers wanting to, you know, what's the secret to going viral? And they're like, we'd love to know that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's no secret. Right. The secret is, is that people have to enjoy right. what they want. Have to give yeah, a shit I mean, enough to put it on their page, and, and I'm, so I'm everybody sees it. When it comes to the video sharing, yeah. If it comes up on my page on my feed a couple times, I ignore it. You do, but then like ten times later, I'm like, all right, like you gotta, <laughs> now, now I gotta see. Yeah, you gotta see what why, why is everyone being, watching you know, this? Yeah, like the Linda thing. I was so far on the tra- you know, behind on the yeah. train because I was like, "Who's this little boy? I don't, I'm not interested." Right. And then people started, you know, saying, "All right, yeah. let you me gotta check see out what it's all yeah, about. Let me see what it's all about." Right. Well, guys, you're gonna see what it's all about. See Steve at Off the Hook Comedy Club this weekend. I'm Captain Brian. This is the Captain's Log. Steve Trevino, buddy, we got to do this again. Thanks for having me. I love you, man. All right, thanks, guys. Be out.